Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good week so far. Every time I do a, an Aideen Dory's video, Channel 4, um, something else pops up. And believe me, there's been a few. So imagine my surprise only a few days after posting my last video, Nadine is in the comments again, and this time refusing to answer questions on Channel 4. She puts up a young, inexperienced minister. And this is an aide that was only made a minister for this department last year in September. And here she is answering questions for the, the sale of a major UK public asset. And, and even more amazing is that Nadine Dory is sitting right with her. Um, both of them try to blame it on Labour, but um, as Labour quite rightly points out, the questions are on the order sheet and ministers choose exactly what questions they're going to answer. For anyone that doesn't understand how it works, the question process is like this. Ministers post questions and ministers decide which questions they're going to answer. That's why answers sometimes come from different ministers. It looks jumbled as they pick and choose which ones they will answer, based on experience, should be. Yet again, the Secretary of State is failing to come to the dispatch box herself to defend one of her own uh, flagship policies. Sorry, Madam Deputy Speaker, I, I thought it was ministers who decided which questions they responded to, uh, not the other way round. So it was, it was their decision to do that. Only Absolutely. It's on the order paper, the question about Channel 4. I think it's also very indicative that Nadine Dorries has chosen to wear a pair of training shoes into the Commons. Uh, the Maybe that's because she wants to make a quick exit if there's any difficult questions that, again, she doesn't want to answer. Coming to this place. Julia Lopez is the young minister answering these questions. For anyone that remembers her, she's the aide that was uh, photographed with the handwritten notes leaving 10 Downing Street in 2016, which clearly indicated that the UK government, i.e. the Tories, was not interested in making any Brexit negotiations work at all. But amongst the handwritten notes, there's some that are uh, quite worrying. One of them is what's the model, have cake and eat it. He purports to care about. Peter Bottomley. Further embarrassment was one of the other notes taken there that the French would be the most difficult. And remember, this was back in November 2016, and Brexit was actually executed on the 31st of January 2020. That's four years previous. Remits. Another one of the notes that looks as if it indicates that the Tory party has control over media is headlines won't change from now until it looks like March. Make of that what you will. Needless to say, the responses that they gave were exactly the same as the other four videos that I've posted on YouTube already, so uh, there's no need to bore your tits off with that. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share. It really does help. Thanks a lot.